Good evening, everybody. Um, if you can't tell, we're in the kitchen again. Yes, I'm going to do another cooking video. I haven't done one in a while. And that was because combination of being a little uh, busy and chaotic and having issues, um, I haven't felt like cooking until today. So today I'm actually taking, it's a non-Nordic, non-keto um, type. The only, the only thing keto about this recipe will be the factor that Jerry, I'm going to, well, I'm going to reheat some riced cauliflower. So basically it's cauliflower made out of rice. So this recipe is actually coming out of um, a book that my mom put together of all the different recipes that we like, or what I call family recipes because a lot of them were family inspired. But this particular recipe is called smothered pork chops and it's a really simple dish. All you need is six pork chops, even though I'm going to be using four, half a cup soy sauce, half a cup of apple jelly, half a, half a cup of um, ketchup, soy sauce, and jelly, all half a cup, and one clover minced. Well, I think I might have overdid it on the clover. Or not clover, excuse me, garlic. <clears throat> I'm having trouble talking. So what you're going to need is basically a baking dish, your pork chops, and your other ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw them into a measuring, because I've already got them all measured out, so you guys don't have to wait for me to do it. Put everything in a mixing you can either use a mixing bowl I'm using a four cup measuring cup as my mixer slash pour I have a little baby spatula for scooping anything that wants to stick in the like the ketchup always has to be scraped out otherwise you won't get all the ketchup you need out of your Little, uh, little bowls. Come on. Okay. Once you get that in your little mixer, just go to town trying to amalgamate everything. You probably can't see me doing this because I didn't angle my camera right, so I apologize. But you get everything into your This might take a little bit more stirring than just a simple sauce because of that jelly. Set that off the side. You can take depending on how many chops you're doing. Um, now if it was my dad doing this, he would have done six chops and not four, but since just me, mom, and Jerry, we're going to take and use a, I don't even know what size this is. Forgive me. I just have to grab my glasses so I can see what I'm reading. Let's see here. It is a 2.5 quart does not give you anything like this, but it is oven and micro safe, microwave safe Corel, or not Corel, Temptations. Something my mom got from QVC. So I'm gonna take the tongs instead of using my fingers to take these chops and try to fit them in here. And I accidentally cut one chop a little thicker than normal so I will have to take temperatures of chops as they are cooking. Now, my gunky. Um, yeah, I should probably wash those just because they had um, pork all over them. Any kind of raw meat, you don't want to use the tongs for raw meat on cooked meat. So let's see here, place the, yep, place the chops in a shallow dish. 
Combine jelly, soy sauce, ketchup, and garlic, pour over chops, and bake for an hour or until tender. So, get the chops nice and covered. So what you're going to want to do, or at least what we do, and I remember my father doing, is once you got them all covered up, you'll stick them in your oven. It says, so you want them nice and covered, as covered as possible. You can move some of the juice around just to get some of that stuff covered. Heat wave. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my uh, my timer here. Come on. Ooh, too much. All right, set my timer for 30 minutes. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's already probably ticking down. Yep. So when that goes off, I'm going to come out here, get a clean pair of tongs, flip the pork chops over so the other side, the other side can get coated and glazed. And I'm also going to start making my side dishes, which will be steamed broccoli and some egg noodles. You can do rice, you can do egg noodles, whatever you choose to do. Mom likes it with egg noodles. I could go either way. I'm gonna make the other part of uh, the bag of uh, rice cauliflower. So Jerry has rice cauliflower. Anyhow, I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Okay, my 30 minute timer went off. So we're going to don on some safety gloves. These are oak gloves that mom got. They're actually very handy. I don't need both of them. Give me a pair of tongs. Oh, yeah, it's nice and bubbly. Oh, that's starting to look nice. And carefully, try not to touch the sides of this container because it will be quite hot. Flip them over. And what I like to do is get myself a nice spoon, preferably something that's not going to burn like that. And just try to, no, juices don't want to come on the spoon. Maybe if I just slosh them around. There we go. Slide that back in. Put that in the sink. This time I'm going to reset my timer. For 15 minutes. Because that will mean... That is time for me to come in and start. I've already prepared my pots and whatnot, my, my noodles and my broccoli. See you in 15. Okay, my 15 minute timer went off, so I'm setting up my broccoli and pasta. Let's see here, let me get you a little bit closer. There's our broccoli, there's our pasta. I gotta keep an ear out for the boiling. And what I do, if I'm not going to be hanging out in the kitchen, which I don't know if I'm going to or not, I'll reach over. Grab a wooden spoon, as you can probably tell by looking at it, it's warped. I set it over the water so it won't boil over without too many problems. Um, hopefully I'll hear noise before it does. So I'm going to go ahead and set this. 
for another 15. These two things might be done before that 15 minute timer goes off, so I just have to listen for it. So I'll see you guys when everything's done. All right, I just put pasta in the water, salted it. I don't know about you guys, but I find these lock and locks very handy because, you know, when you open a thing of pasta, it's kind of hard to reseal it. So putting it in a lock and lock to keep it fresh and not get bugs or anything in it, I love these lock and locks. All right, I notice my water is starting to boil rapidly. So this is where I gotta stay out here and keep an eye on this. But we'll see what happens here in a moment or two. Okay, it's time to take the pork chops out. I've already put the other goodies on the table. Blast of heat will get me every time. Oh yeah, those chops look nice. There's our finished pork chops. And there we go, folks. That's basically some of the pork chops, Henson style. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little cooking episode. Um, if you have a, a, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about it, including the recipe, let me know, and I will put that recipe on the, um, I'll put, yeah, I'll let you guys know about the recipe. Um, if you're new to my channel and like looking at uh, other people's cooking um, skills or recipes, go ahead and uh, hit the uh, subscribe button. And once you hit the subscribe button, you can hit the um, little bell that pops up. And once you do that, YouTube will let you know when I put in my next uh, video. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Bye.